Hello everyone, James from Junkyard Fox and welcome to this year's first video. I know it's the first video of 2017, we're almost done with January. I do apologize for being a little late, just been having a lot of issues, particularly with weather. Now it's going to be quite windy and I apologize if the audio, audio just isn't what I would like it to be, but the show must go on. So anyways, let's get started. Now this is an outdoor arena review on the One Tigress Tactical Dump Pouch. And I'm calling it that just to keep it a little short because its official name is a mile long and I'll elaborate on that in a little bit. Anyways, the purpose of a dump pouch, as you can see these loops, they go through your belt, put them on here. And the purpose of it really is to, it deals with firearms. It's a tactical piece of gear. Now, anything from smaller airsoft guns to primarily something larger, one of the big boy guns like an AR-15, an AK-47, you have this here and you switch out your magazines. So your ammunition goes in here. Now I'll be the first to admit, I don't have a lot of experience with AK-47s, anything like that. Um, we will delve into that later on in this video, but for now, I also wanna elaborate on the fact that this is still a pouch. And a pouch is a deceptive piece of technology because it may seem basic, it may seem boring, but it's a container, and a container has a thousand uses. So I'm just gonna run a couple of uses to show you guys how I will use this dump pouch. And then from there, of course, it's going to travel through the arena through other members. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. Okay, so before we begin on the testing, let's just get the stats out of the way. Now, the official title for this piece of gear is the One Tigress Molly Tactical Foldable Dump Pouch Magazine Mag Recovery Pouch. <laughs> that is a mouthful. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to tighten it up and just call it in this review the One Tigress Tactical Dump Pouch. Now the material is 500D nylon, so it's gonna be pretty durable. It's gonna be pretty weather resistant. That's, I like that, it's gonna be pretty tough. The weight is 200 grams. Of course, that's when it is empty. Now, when it's opened, it's 10.4 inches by 11.2 inches. And when it's folded, and just to demonstrate, when you fold this up, let's bring in the Velcro, keep it nice and tight. When it's folded, it is 10.4 inches by 3.9 inches. Release it, three drain holes at the bottom. Now it is double walled, so there's this inside with another drain hole. And there's retails for $15.59, that's how I found it, that's where I found it on Amazon. Now for those of you who, once again, aren't familiar with the dump pouch, there's these loops back here, and these your belt goes through here. Now these have snaps, they have both snaps and Velcro. So this isn't going to be going anywhere. Don't worry about this slipping off if you're moving fast or anything like that. This goes through your belt and this is the Velcro for when you tighten it up. Placing it here. Have it like this. Open it up and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get, some st get started with some testing. Let's get with the first use. Okay, so first use is passive use. Now, obviously, for the majority of our time when we're at school or we're at work, we're not gonna be carrying this stuff with us. I don't really see a dump pouch to be used as an everyday item, at least not for me. So you can put it away in your closet, you know, where, or in your room, wherever you, you have your equipment, and it can hold some stuff for you. So right now, it's just up here. And for now, I'm holding some earmuffs and safety glasses for firearms. So that's a use that I think a lot of people overlook, that the pouch can still hold stuff when it's not being used actively. And of course, another use, while you're out in the field, you can scavenge or you can gather. So just open it up. On, on route to my destination, I run into some opportunities, some good stuff. So this right here is really dry tinder. This will catch very easily, very fluffy, very dry. So I could get handfuls of this, place it in here.
see all these tracks. These are small rodents out here. The majority are going to be some kangaroo rats. Some of them are a little larger, probably some small cottontail rabbits. And this leads me up to my next use for this bag. Say you're out here camping, staying out here for a little bit. You already have your base camp set up. So you have your fire, you have your shelter set up. You already put your equipment down, your, your heavy backpack or your haversack. And you can just head out with this when a in a quick scouting mission. Look around for science and trail. Now for now, I have the bait, which is peanut butter. And I have five rat traps that fit in here as well. So I just leave my base for a little bit, my base camp, and look around. And I find something like this. This means that this is an often used trail. So with my traps, I just set some traps around this area, ensuring me some meat for the morning. All right, fellas, let's have some fun. We got ourselves an AK-47 here. And we're gonna test it out in conjunction with the dump pouch. Now, a disclaimer before I begin, I'm not an expert with firearms. I'm not some awesome badass commando Navy SEAL guy, so don't, don't crucify me if I'm not up to par. Um, once again, we're just gonna go ahead and have some fun. Let's get to it. Now all we have is three magazines on us, but that is more than enough room in here for all three of them. Now there's also room, honestly there's probably room up to, to have up to five magazines in here before things start getting a little crowded. So definitely doing its job there. Man that was a lot of fun. Well this is about the conclusion of this video guys. I just want to let you all know ahead of time, you know, I'm so sorry about, you know, taking so long to get a video out this year. This video was a lot of fun to make. It was also it had so many challenges. It was a pain in the butt. Um everything from vehicle problems to weather to vandalism. Just so many things went wrong, but it was also very fun to make. So, I want to give a shout out to One Tigress for sending me the pouch to review. And I want to give a shout out to my buddy Roman, who came out here with, you know, he lent us his firearm so we can be out not only filming, but having fun out here shooting because it's not something we don't really do often. Okay, so final thoughts on this bag. It was very sturdy, really nice, very affordable, um, you know, for 15 and something, that's pretty good. I looked around for some competitors, some other dump pouches. Some of them are cheaper and some of them are way more overblown in price. So this one's just about average. And it, if you know, it's held up so far. You know, it's very rugged, very simple design. Now, one thing I would just like to suggest to One Tigress as as a whole, not just for this bag, but you know, I've noticed in other products that they have. You know, the, these names are very complicated and long, and it you know it does wonders to just have something simple and catchy for, for the name of your gear. Uh, you don't want something too overly complicated that you know consumers aren't gonna keep in their minds. So that's one thing. That's one suggestion. The only issue I had with this bag which was, I mean, this is minuscule, but when I'm walking around and I have Velcro back here, I've noticed some fraying on my denim. Nothing catastrophic, nothing too serious, just something worth noting. And that's about it. So this now travels to another member of the outdoor arena. See what paces they put it through. And if you like this video, guys, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to keep up with my adventures. And I'll see you guys next week. Now go outside and get your boots dry. Ha, 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 ha.